Hello, I'm Cyril DeVoe, District Sales Manager and Product Trainer for the Crosby Group. Welcome to this edition of Ask the Expert Podcast. Today, I will be answering a question that was submitted anonymously regarding Crosby IP vertical lifting clamps. The question is, the steel manufacturing company that I work for recently purchased several IPU10 vertical lifting clamps. The top plate of the clamp has the numbers 0.05-0.5T etched into the blue plate. What does this signify? Well, many Crosby IP vertical lifting clamps have a maximum and minimum working load limit. Both are etched on the clamp for easy identification of the clamp capacity. Now, in this example, the 0.5T means the capacity of the clamp is one half metric tons of work and load limit, or the maximum force which the product is authorized to support in a particular service. Now, one metric ton equals 2,204 pounds. Therefore, a clamp etch with 0.5T has a work and load limit of 1,102 pounds, or half a metric ton. Now, the minimum work and load limit is 0.05T, which equals 2,204 pounds, a metric ton, times 0.05, and that equals 110 pounds. Now, this minimum work and load limit is also very important because a typical clamp uses a hardened cam segment to bite into the load being lifted. Now, if the load being lifted is below this minimum working load limit, then there's not enough force for the teeth to embed into the load. And then the load may slip out of the clamp. Now, an example uh, where this could present a problem is in steel fabrication. When a new plate of steel is lifted to a burn table to be cut, it is at its maximum weight. Now, after cutting the plate and collecting the parts, the remaining plate is often lifted with the same plate, with the same clamp. Now, careful consideration should be paid to the fact that the plate's weight is now significantly reduced. Crosby IP vertical lifting clamps have a minimum work and load limit of 10% of maximum work and load limit, which enables them to be able to make that lift in most of these situations. We want to thank the subscriber for submitting today's question, and we will see you next time on Ask the Expert.